Okay, so no swearing. Right, so I kind of want to go over the microscope today, show you how to use it. And remember, once again, once we focus it on something with the course and the fine, you're never going to touch the first big knob again, which is medial and post -trail. All right, so I'm going to take this thing completely out of focus. So there's my slide. All right, number one, we're going to clean this off. It's all done there. And on your slide, make sure the label's here. So if you have it upside down, it'll work until you go into oil immersion. Then the number slide is here, label. In the microscope, I'm going to scan back and forth. The shortest lens is called the high I. Right? Usually it's 4x power. The ocular is a 10x power. So, um, you guys want to grab slides or what do you want to do? Yeah, so why don't we all grab? So, um, what's that say there? What's I mean, I see me a second. I mean, this could have gone out. You know, like I said, I'll just show you. I'll show you first, and then I'll walk around. <clears throat> okay, so I put I put the slide in. This is mammal pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. So we've all heard of cilia. Do we have cilia before? Which one is three? I don't know your little sister. You want to bring those hairs to bring all my my big children? This is ciliated columnar epithelium. So columnar is very, very long. So anyway, clean your ocular, take your slide, we're going to put it in the stage. We're going to click it in there. So if you, if you want to grab a slide, then you can just practice along with me. <clears throat> why, don't we all, why don't we just all grab number one? It should be yellow. On the left, could say some version of mammal pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Gonna have a number one in yellow because I've tagged all of these, they're in trays. Just hand them out. If you're on your cell phone, I hope you're looking something up and not on Tinder. Right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, put your slide in the stage. Make sure you're on the shortest lens, which is your objective lens. Ocular. You guys heard ocular before? Last week we talked about ocular. I think we I did on Brutus, so ocular always means eye. This is the ocular, your eyes looking through here. These lenses down here are the objective. You're looking at the object you're looking at, the objective. So go with the shortest lens. It's called your high and dry. If you look, it should say 4x on it. So your ocular should be a 10x. Your high and dry is a 4x. So 10 times 4, when I went to 10 more west, was 40. Okay. Some microscopes have a 20x ocular. We don't have any of those. Some of them do. So potentially, we could have a 20x ocular. Oil immersion, our highest power is 100. So theoretically, we could have a magnification of 100 or 200 times 100 is 2,000. We don't have that capability. We have 10. Times 100, our immersion, which is 1,000. Not going to need a oil immersion today because we're not looking at bacteria. But I will show you guys how to do it. You get your slide in here. What I want to point out before we start, if you move your stage to the left, the image is probably going to go the opposite way. Move it away from the opposite way. But anyway, I have got my 
my slide in here. I should have the projector here. Hopefully this is recording. So I'm gonna go in here and look. And you wanna make sure, you see how I'm gonna move this? I can see the images in there moving. I see that. So I know it's doing focus and I'm not looking at something that's below me. Now if I take it out of focus, which it is now, and I move this slide back and forth, nothing really changes. So I know something's not right. Put it in my course knob. Back and forth. Right, as you move the knob away from you, the stage should come up. If you can't get in focus, generally you want that stage as close to the object lens as you can, just for focus. That's how we do that. So I'm moving this back and forth. And you guys, can we all agree we see something there? Looks like a strip of bacon or something, right? So I, I sort of there, I'm gonna go and see if I can find something interesting. My pointer, I'm gonna go in, now I'm on the lateral side, bringing that in with the fine focus. So that to me looks pretty good. The other thing I wanna mention is the lenses here, everybody has a different PD, which the people are a distance, so everyone's eyes are further different. So when you're looking at this, you may have to bring the ocular in or out, depending on what you want, or just find your dominant eye. Find your dominant eye, I want you guys to hold your hands up like this, find an object, look at it, close one eye, close the other. Whichever eye lines up with the object you were looking at, that's your dominant eye. So, so that is your dominant eye. The other thing is on your microscope, if you find one will say dioptic. So if you are myopic or hypoopic, you can change this, fine tune it. So you it may be clear for you, your lab partner comes and says, I don't see anything, it's all focused. It, that's because you might have different refractors. So we're going to go in, I'm going to find that here. Focusing in. Now, what I want to do, can somebody tell me the name of this slide again? Mammillary? So, stratified, is it ciliated? Ciliated. So I'm going to go find something called the brush border. Brush border, so it's going to have ciliated fibers on it. You guys know what we're doing between the apical and a base? You guys remember we were talking about superficial and deep last week? The apical surface is what's going to be in contact with the outside environment. You guys all remember me saying that your digestive system and your respiratory system are outside of your body. So when you're breathing into that conduit, right, that's going to be the outside environment. That's where the ciliated fibers are going to land. Find it here. Affiliated brush border is the outside of your body. It's going to be the apical surface. I'm going to go in and focus on that real quick. Air. I don't have enough room. That's in focus. I'm going to take my lens here, the ocular, or the objective lens, and rotate it with the circle. Don't grab the lenses because you don't screw them. So rotate it. Most of these are going to go. You're going to go clockwise, and you're going to go when you're going to click it in. So everyone can do that if you want. Click it in. Sure, focus and now focus. Click it in. Now, can you all agree? I didn't. I didn't do anything with my microscope. What happened to my image? The thing went out. I took a beat, and what happened to it? It moved, it got closer, it got bigger, and then I feel the view. It went away because before I saw the whole. Now it's out. So I want to move that image to oh, for them. You guys, I want to move it to the left towards me. So which way should I move my? Uh, 
visualize it if I'm I'm literally turning my knob counterclockwise, which would be to my left. My image is going what? Left. Right. So I said now I'm not going to touch the course knob. I'm going to touch the time focus. All I did. Now, if I was giving you guys an exam, I could say, what is the point I'm on there? Yeah, for an exam, I could say it's perfect time. Oh, when we go into higher magnification, you're going to see the ciliated fibers. You're going to know it's the apical surface. You're going to know what type of tissue that is. What it chooses. That's my hope. So that seems pretty good. I think. All right, now I'm going to click into the next. So that this was 4x, 10x. I'm going to go into my 40x. So I've got 10 times 40. And this could be 40 magnification. What happened to my image? Jumped. Good move. Still the ground chain. So I'm going. Oh, there it is. So there it is. Now remember, I'm not going to touch the course. I'm going to touch the fine focus. So I'm going to move that away from me. I'm going to move it towards me. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my So that literally right there is the apical border. This would be what is in contact with the esophagus. Look at that. And I can see little ciliated fibers. Focus. You guys can play around with this. You can just move it around. Oh, there it is. Sorry, can you guys see? I'm going to hit the lights here for a second. I want to show you guys something. <clears throat> All right, it's not the greatest, but you see this area here was clear. That's a goblet cell. You guys know what a goblet cell does? It it makes it produces something called mucin. You guys heard of mucin X? Mucin, when it comes in contact with water, it makes mucus, which is that slimy stuff you can affiliated board is going to move, brush board is going to move things up the respiratory tract with mucus, which is going to trap any particles. And you can do one of two things. You can spit it out, or you can swallow it. So if you swallow it, we talked today about contents of your stomach. What was the pH? That's how it was. <laughs> Hydrochloric acid. Forces, like so. <laughs> and what is what did this city do with proteins? They start breaking down the tertiary structure of that. So it's a way of, of killing those microbes or whatever. But if you look here, those are the brush border. That's your ciliated fiber. Remember, four colors function. So that's your ciliated fiber. It's going to move the respiratory escalator up your throat. You can either cough it out, spit it in the tissue, toilet it, garbage can, rip, swallow it. What's going to do with it? We just don't want, we don't want to swallow this. Our opinion, we don't want to, we want to swallow this if there's hydrochloric acid. We don't want this getting into lung tissue. Okay. So there's that. Underneath your slide, you should see um, something called the condenser. I'm not going to play around with that one up here, but I'll go around and show you that. But as you go to the higher power, I want you to start to remember to do is that um, aperture. I want you to make it smaller and smaller with the power because it focuses that light up through the lens. 
looked at these uh, objective lenses. The higher the power, the smaller the aperture. So we really want to turn that light up. To the, we don't want the light hitting it and diffracting or reflecting all over. But while I'm here, I just kind of want to show you oil immersion only because we may be using it. You know, if you guys are going into microbiology, if you have any um, next semester of the summer for micro, I don't want you to come, I don't want to see your face and you tell me you never use a micro or you don't want to work with mercy. That won't go well. All right, so I'm going to grab some. Huh, There's oil. The, the purpose of the oil is I'm going to put this on the slide. When I bring my oil immersion lens, it's going to lock it in. It's going to seal. It's going to be white, slide, object, oil immersion, which has the same viscosity as air, roughly. And so all of it's coming up. It's being blue. We want to come through that oil immersion and just crack it off. So it'll make your image as clear as possible. Please don't tell me later that the oil immersion increased the magnification. It's not true. It, lock, it, it stopped diffraction or refraction of light. So I'm going to just literally click it into oil immersion here without the oil immersion. Once again, I want to focus on that. Fair right? We can all at least agree that the object is bigger. All right, I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible. Is the apical surface. And you guys, some of these were ciliate, pseudostratified, created. Right, pseudostratified looks like they're layered, but they're not stratified. So to tell that, we'll see you later. But if you look at this closely in a, in a better image, each one of those cells is going to go from the apical surface to the base. They're not stratified. They just look like they are, but I'll trace each cell down to the at some point to touch the base, basal surface. We'll go over that in lecture, so don't worry. But that's relatively clear. I'm going to back it off, and I'm literally in between the 40x and the 100x oil immersion. I'm going to take a drop. We are not serving pancakes at Howard Johnson, so not a lot of oil. Drop. I'm going to put that right where the light source is. Can't show you right now, but there's literally a half a drop. You can use these. There's dropper bottles. These are actually from um, things. I collected these, but it's like you have literally have a half a drop for I repurposed them. Now I'm going to take this lens. I'm going to lock it right in there. So now I have the light, slide, the cut cover slip. Oil immersion and uh, objective lens, and I hope it's going to. Stop messing with illumination. I could come here and get the illumination. But from my view here, it's relatively clear. We see the affiliated structures there. Maybe right, I'm going to hit the lights, turn off the video. If you want to come and look at this, you can. All right. And then what I'd like you guys all to do is start practicing with those slides. So remember, go in, <clears throat> uh, go to high and dry, put the slide in, and find something, move it up and down, find something interesting, and then we'll zoom in on that. I'm trying to help you out. Okay. Uh, this thing listens like my little brother. My